This is a flag displayed near a church in Northern Kent County. It includes an obscenity used to criticize President Biden, which is why we had to blur out the message. Viewers alerted us to the explicit flag earlier this week. The owners tell 13 on your side's Justin Bachman they have no plans to take it down. While we can't show you the flag flying over my shoulder on your television, the family who put it up a week ago says it shouldn't matter what words are on it, their message stands and they don't plan to take it down anytime soon. Jamie and Jason Taylor have no issue expressing their beliefs. The couple makes their own shirts with political commentary, but the thing that has people talking is a flag using vulgar language to criticize President Biden. The Taylors say they haven't gotten any negative response so far. It's quite the opposite. We get lots of people who love the flag and agree with it. What have people been saying? Oh, we'll have people that just kind of, you know, honk as they go by or they'll be like, yeah, out the window and stuff. They got a visit from the township supervisor Wednesday morning. Sitting across the street from a church, some residents expressed concern over such foul language in a visible place. They seemed really open to uh, trying to make sure they express themselves, but in, in uh, the best way possible. After some more thinking, the Taylors say they no longer plan to alter or take down the flag, which flies on their own private property. I did for a split second. I was like, you know, like maybe we should take it out on Sunday because we do have a church nearby our house. But then I was like, you know what? Freedom isn't five days a week or six days a week. You either have freedom or you don't have freedom. They say kids are exposed to swearing in other parts of their day. They see the flag not as detrimental, but instead a way to start a conversation. You know, if this gets one person's attention and they, you know, maybe stop by and ask a question or they look up something for themselves. When asked for a comment, the church across the street said they support their neighbor's right to express their beliefs under the same First Amendment that lets the church display Bible verses as they please. In Algoma Township, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.